So, my LED cube is complete. 3x3x3. Three by three by three. It's essentially like a 3D TV, but a real one that has actual depth. Now this is to a very small scale. It's very low resolution, but uh, as you can imagine, it takes quite a bit of uh, labor to solder together a matrix like this and hook up all the circuitry. So I just got the software part of it uh, finished to a minimal state, and uh, yeah, basically uh, I'm able to get it to light up any LED I want at any given time. And from the software's perspective, I actually found an interrupt uh, root protocol that's within the Adreno, which is actually pretty cool. So um, in the background. I'm able to have it, it basically calls an interrupt every two milliseconds and is able to call a function and basically do a task every two milliseconds no matter what else the program is doing. So it basically gives me a virtual parallel control. So the way I have the interrupt set up is that it actually handles the multiplexing and I have an array that contains the state of every LED, and every time that interrupt is called, it will basically go through and flash one layer with the the uh, LED states that are in that array. And then it'll flash the next layer the next time the interrupt is called, and flash the next layer. So then, basically, every six milliseconds, it goes through a whole cycle. And that's actually quite fast enough for the human eye to think that they're all there at the same time. So now in the main program, I'm able to set those, that LED buffer, whatever I want, and from the program perspective, when you're working from the main program, it feels as though you're, you're just telling it which ones to light up, and it'll light up all of them at the same time if you want to. At least it appears that way. So I don't have to really worry about the multiplexing when I'm setting up the, the animations setting up the way I wanted to light the LED. So that's great. Makes it a lot easier from a, the programming perspective to use this interrupt function LED. So uh, I've got some uh, resistors and transistors down there on the circuitry. Uh, basically there's a resistor for every single column going up and those are the positive leads. So basically there's nine columns going from the bottom to the top and then there are three grounds. There's one for every single level. So, the bottom floor level, mid floor, top floor. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> and I've got transistors at the bottom to basically control or switch on and off each of the level's grounds. And those are hooked up to the yellow lines, which go to the Adreno. And the red lines are for each column. So then from the Adreno, I'm able to control completely this LED matrix based on turning on and off the crowns for each level and the positives for each column. Now for this particular animation, it's set up to basically light up four random LEDs at a given time, or appear that way. Uh, right now it's actually going quite fast, so it just looks like it's lighting up random ones, but uh, I'm just going to recompile it and set it so that it uploads or changes it every one second. So now it's uploading the code. That's just my little test. And now, as you can see, it's got four lit up at the same time. Now, one flaw about the way this thing is just hooked up, or I don't know if it's really considered a flaw, but sometimes it looks like there's more LEDs lit up than it than actually are because an LED at below a lower LED will actually shine light into a higher LED. So it doesn't always look the way it should. But right now it lights up four random LEDs and holds it for a second. So this is the main program. Uh, first, it goes through and removes, basically sets all the 
array values to low or the LED buffer. And then here it's just going through a for loop of four increments and just setting random values to high. So that is the program aspect of it. So I could change this to any value I want, like I could change it to 600 milliseconds for the delay, and it'll go a little faster. It's kind of a neat little animation, but I could do anything with this now. Uh, I was thinking of hooking up a petrometer to affect the delay speed, so I could make it spin faster and then slower. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how that works. Now I've just changed it a little bit so it flashes seven LEDs, or seven LEDs on a time. And now there will be 15 on at a given time. Ah, it almost looks like it's just glowing now.